After ordering Palestinians to move towards Rafah border crossing, the Israeli military on Monday struck the area where thousands of Palestinians have been gathering for the past several days in the hopes to cross to safety. Caro clarified that the Rafah crossing was rendered inoperable due to Israeli airstrikes on the Gaza side. Egypt's foreign minister, Sameer Shokri, emphasized the urgent need to alleviate the suffering of Palestinian civilians in Gaza and expressed frustration with unfruitful talks with Israel. On the ground at Rafah, sources noted readiness on the Egyptian side, with hopes of restoring regular access for Palestinians, including medical treatment and travel. Aid from NGOs and countries also waits in Al Arish, ready to enter Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ruled out a temporary ceasefire for aid of foreigner evacuations while Defense Minister Yov Gallant has warned of a protracted, costly war. Time is running out for Gaza's besieged population, as essential supplies, including water, food, and fuel, are dwindling. Aid agencies warn that there are only 24 hours left of these critical resources. Preparations for mass graves in Gaza City indicate the scale of the tragedy, with morgues at capacity, and relatives unable to bury their loved ones. The situation in Gaza is a humanitarian crisis of immense proportions.